Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the consolidated statement of financial position. And by the statement of financial position, we're talking about the balance sheet. So we're going to look at the simple consolidation of the balance sheet. What is consolidated financial statements? Well, these are financial statements of a group presented as those of a single economic entity. So we are taking individual statement of each company in the group and then we're grouping them together into a single economic entities statement okay so we are just putting them together and showing one financial statement as if it's for one specific company and that's what we do when you have a company and its subsidiaries okay you group them together and then for the parent company that is what you will present as the consolidated statement of financial position when a parent company issues consolidated financial statements, it should consolidate all subsidiaries. And that is why I highlighted all subsidiaries, both domestic, meaning from the same country and foreign from outside the country. It should consolidate all of them. The first step in any consolidation is to identify the subsidiaries using definitions as set out in IFRS 10. OK, so you need to know whether it qualifies as a subsidiary and that is why you need to understand the notes behind the consolidation so what are the steps that we take in consolidating the the statement of financial position well we're going to go through an example right now but let's first see what steps we're going to take and the steps you should take when you're doing the consolidation the consolidation of the statement of financial position includes the following procedures in the individual statements of the parent company and each subsidiary Items that appear as an asset in one company and a liability in another should be cancelled out. And that is very important and the basic step that you will learn when you're first learning about consolidation. So if the parent company has recorded something as an asset and that same thing has been recorded as a liability in the subsidiary, they need to be cancelled out. Why? Because they're the same company. A same company cannot hold a, a receivable or data from its own company okay and that is why the parent and the subsidiary relationship matters here so if it's recorded as an asset in one company and a liability in in another then you need to cancel them out and you'll see how that works now with the help of the example that we'll go through after cancellation after you've done the cancellation that we've mentioned above here add together the remaining assets and liabilities throughout the group so after you do the cancellations, you'll just be adding together all the assets and liabilities throughout the group, okay? However many companies you have in the group. Such items to be cancelled may include, and these are the very common items, the asset investment or shares in subsidiary in the parent company's statement of financial position will be matched with the share capital in the subsidiary's accounts. So let's look at this statement here. What do we mean? When a parent company invests in a subsidiary, and that is why it will be called a subsidiary, right? It will invest money and buy shares from that company, or it owns it wholly, okay? It owns 100% of the subsidiary. What will happen in the parent company's balance sheet or the statement of financial position? Well, under assets, okay, non-current assets, it will have investment or shares in subsidiary because it's an asset. You're owning another company or you're owning shares in another company, okay? So it will be an investment or shares in the subsidiary. When you go to the subsidiary's books, what you'll see in the equity sections, you'll see share capital. And that share capital includes the one invested in by the parent company. And that is why you need to cancel that out because the asset is in the parent company's balance sheet and the share capital is in the subsidiary's equity section of the balance sheet. Any intra-group trading needs to be cancelled accordingly and that is another popular one. For example, the parent company records a receivable for selling goods to a subsidiary and the subsidiary likewise recording a payable relating to the parent company. So what you can see here is that they may be trading between the parent company and the subsidiary. And the parent company might sell goods to the subsidiary on credit and the parent company will record a receivable or debtors. Okay, and the subsidiary, on the other hand, will record accounts payable or creditors, okay, relating to its own parent. So you need to net those ones out and cancel them out because it's 
trading within the group it's trading within the group which we need to cancel out okay so that's basically what we do in when we're doing the consolidation of the statement of financial position so here's an example that we'll quickly go through we are told here that coco limited regularly sells goods to its wholly owned subsidiary company chapel limited which it has owned since chapel limited's incorporation the statement of financial position of the two companies on 28 February 2020 are given below. And what we see here is that the subsidiary is wholly owned by Coco Limited, which makes it very simple for us when we are doing the consolidated statement of financial position. Okay. And we can see also that it sells goods. Okay. The parent company, which bought the subsidiary, is selling goods to its own subsidiary. So we need to take that into account as well. Remember what we mentioned with cancellation. So if you can see here, we have the statement of financial position. Coco Limited is here on the left and Chapel Limited is here on the right. Okay, we can see the figures down there. And what do you note here? Well, the first thing that we need to note is that Coco Limited has bought Chapel Limited, which is the subsidiary. So we need to go to Coco Limited's books and you can see here under non-current assets, we have investment in 55,000 shares in Chapel Limited at cost. And remember what we mentioned about that. In the parent company, you will have that as an investment under asset section, okay? And in the subsidiary, which is Chapel Limited, if you go to the equity section, you will see the exact same thing. 55,000 one rand ordinary shares invested by the parent company. Okay, and we have 55,000. So you can see here 55,000 in the parent company's books in the asset section and 55,000 in the equity section of the subsidiary. And remember the notes that you mentioned before. So let me enlarge it before we continue. Let's look at the note here. We say that the asset investment or shares in subsidiary in the parent company statement of financial position will be matched with the share capital in the subsidiary's account. So what do we need to do? We need to cancel them out. So this is the one that will cancel out the investment in 55,000 shares in Chapel Limited in the subsidiary and the equity section of the subsidiary okay of the same amount 55,000 ordinary shares and those are the one which will first cancel out the second thing that we need to consider is that we are told that there is intra-group trading okay like the parent company sells goods to the subsidiary so what does that mean if it sells goods to the subsidiary on credit it should be noted if you go to the current assets of the parent company okay so you go to the books of the company which is selling to the other and here it's parent selling to the subsidiary so here we go to the parents current asset section and you can see trade receivables chapel limited 2000 rand what does it mean it means the subsidiary owes the parent 2000 rand as a result of the trading and then if you go to the subsidiaries liability section of the balance sheet okay you'll see here trade payables coco limited so now it has the name of the parent and it's written 2000 rand the exact same amount okay so obviously this is a simplified consolidated statement of financial position so that means a subsidiary is recording that it owes its parent so for when we are consolidating here if it's within the group and that is what has just happened we need to cancel them out as you can see from our notes here any intra-group trading needs to be cancelled accordingly okay so we cancel out the investment that we initially did and we also cancel out the trade receivables in the parents books and the trade payables in the subsidiaries balance sheet and once we've cancelled them out whatever is remaining we're just going to add them up and we have what is called the consolidated statement of financial position and you can see it over here everything else that we cancelled is the intra-group trading and the investment in the subsidiary everything else that's remaining we just add them together and we create what is called the consolidated statement of financial position so you can see here we have property plan and equipment we just added them together the inventories we add them together the bank we only have the one for the parent company and we have other ordinary shares we put it over there the retained earnings we add them together the bank overdraft we put it over there and remember you do not net off the bank which is the positive on the asset section of the parent with the bank overdraft of the subsidiary. Why don't you do that? Well, we don't do that because it would be less informative and would conflict with the principle that assets and liabilities should not be netted off. Okay, so we know that assets and liabilities should not be netted off. And once you've done that, your balance sheet, your consolidated statement of financial position should balance. You can see the total assets is 199,000. The total equity and liabilities is 199,000 rand. I hope it has made sense. I hope you've been able to follow the principles that we've been talking about. In our other lessons, we are doing more advanced. We'll be doing 
more and more advanced consolidated financial statements so you'll find the links to those lessons in the description below i hope it has made sense and if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers